What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add your own fonts to Vegas Pro 17. This can be very useful if you want to customise your videos and make them feel a bit more like your own. Maybe you've just found a font online that you really like and you want to use it in your videos, so I'm going to show you how to do that. If at any point in this video you do find it helpful, then remember to leave a like down below as it'll help more people see this video and it'll help more people out. Now to get started, you're going to want to find a website where you can download fonts. Now I'm going to leave a few links in the description such as Google Fonts. The one I'm going to be using is called DaFonts. You may have seen the font on my channel that I'll be showing on screen now. This is where I got the font from. So if you type in DaFont, you should get this option here for DaFont.com. If you click on that, You'll then be brought to this website where you will see many, many, many different fonts that you can use in your videos. Now, I'm going to show you the one that I got in case you do want to use that, but then I'm also going to download a new one that I haven't used before just so you can see how to get it installed for Vegas Pro. So first of all, the one I use is called Edo SZ. If you type that in the search bar up here, you can see straight away that that is the font here. Now, like I said, I'm not going to be using that just because I do want to get something different for the purposes of this tutorial. Now, let's just go on to A. You can search alphabetically or you can just search for font if you know the name. You're then going to want to just navigate to a font that you do like the look of. And actually, straight away, I like that Alloy Ink. We've also got a few of us, Anti Corona. That um, I, I I don't know if I can even if that can if that's gonna like demonetize me because of the whole yeah. I'm I'm we're not gonna use that one. We're not gonna use that one. Um, I think let's go with this Alloy Ink. I think it looks pretty cool. Now, if you do click on the font, you can see a few more details about it. You can actually see the letters it contains and the symbols. For example, the font that I'm using, Edo S said, that doesn't actually contain some of the different symbols. And you can see this is the same. It's using WEP as a replacement. Now, I don't know what WEP means, but you can see that some icons are not available. So if you did need certain icons, always double check this first to make sure that you are actually getting what you need. But this will do for the purpose of this tutorial. So what you're going to want to do is navigate to the top right of the page and you will see the download button. Simply click on that and give it a minute to download. It should be quite fast because fonts... It should be quite fast because fonts... Wow, that is really hard to say. It should be quite fast because font files are quite small. You're then going to want to click on that so it opens up. You'll then see these two files, they're both the same, one ends in OTF and one ends in TTF. Now you're going to want to click on both, but for the first one you're going to click on the OTF. You're then going to see the install button up here, and it's as simple as that. You click that and it will install the font. And there we go, it is installed very quickly. So we'll close that now, we'll go into the TTF file. And we're going to click install for that as well. Now it might say that the font is already installed, you want to replace it. Just click yes. This just means you've definitely got the font installed and it should be available for use within your editing software. Now once we've done that, we're going to close down that. Close down everything that we've got open. And we're going to jump into Vegas Pro. Now if your software was already open when you installed the new font, make sure you close it and open it again. I don't have Vegas Pro open at the moment, so I'm going to open it now. Um, and I didn't have it open when I installed it, so I don't need to close it and then open it. So we'll just open that up. And then just to show it is working, I'm going to right click insert video track. I'm going to insert some text media. And then I'm going to select all the font here and I'm going to look for the font. Now it was called Alloy Ink, so I'm going to just type in A. And we can see, there we go, A Alloy Ink. Now, I don't know why it's got A Alloy Ink. It should just say Alloy Ink, which is a bit weird. But you can see straight away, we have got the text there on screen. I'm going to make sure we can actually see it by making sure the cursor is over the text. And there we go. We've got the text that we've just downloaded in Vegas Pro. You can do some stuff like edit the color. And you can change any of the other settings available for text. I have already got a video on how to add text in Vegas Pro and edit text. So if you want to check that tutorial out, then that is on my channel as well. But that is how you actually get a new custom font in Vegas Pro. And I might actually start using this for some things because it does look quite nice. And I think I've accidentally added an animation to it, so it, <laughs> it kind of pans in there. Um, but that is going to be it for this tutorial, guys. So I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then be sure to leave a like down below. If you want to see more tutorials in the future, then subscribe to the channel. And if there are any tutorials you want to see in particular, then just comment them down below and I'll get to work making them. But that is going to be it, so I'll see you in the next tutorial or whatever I make. Bye.